Holla at your boy Bok Choi. It's Tommy. I'm in my garage. Just got back from the mountain. I need to shoot this video, edit this video, upload this video uh, today. So I got back from the mountain. I figured I'd do what I bring to the mountain, my gear for the year as of right now. A couple things I want to change, but uh, not going to worry about that right now. Also, we've hit the goal of 100 subscribers. We're over 100 right now, uh, which means we're going to be doing a giveaway shortly. I'm going to finish working out the details of the giveaway uh, later tonight because I'm going to do this. I'm going to edit, and I'm going to go sh Christmas shopping for my mom with my dad. So that's going to be fun. But anyway, let's do a quick My Gear. All right, getting into the gear, we're going to start off with my pants first. They're Burton pants. Um, I believe they're called, it's a penny colorway, co uh, copper maybe. I'm colorblind, so it's a little, you know, don't really know the color. Don't know the model. All I know is I rocked orange Mission Burton pants for the past several years, and uh, my fly's down, and now I'm rocking these, and I love them. They're warm. Vents, awesome amount of pockets, able to keep my season pass in here moving to uh, I actually forgot my base layer so I just wear like an Under Armour shirt um, see if I could you know it's a warm material uh, for underneath my pants I normally rock some sort of like yoga pant type thing like jogging pants because uh, that's what uh, I have from running so that's that and socks I always wear snowboarding socks I just get them at TJ Maxx I don't know the brands just you know get snowboarding socks they work out pretty well next piece of gear that I wear is underneath this fleece actually I just wear a hoodie um, I have two North Face hoodies they like to rock and then just a black Walmart one that's a little bit thinner same as last year I have a North Face jacket poncho style as I like to say uh, zips on the side very comfy it has the big pocket in the front I normally keep a uh, my phone there uh, just to keep it safe besides that it's pretty much just a shell not too insulated um, I really like it I'm gonna go into my bag for a lot of the stuff so I figured I'd just show you my bag it's a kind shoot 18 liter backpack I do this is one of the things I want to change because this is more of a skiing backpack you know it doesn't have the board straps on it uh, which I would like hanging from it we got my five panel hat that I wear pretty much everywhere we have my helmet. Uh, this is the big thing I want to change. This is a Smith Holt helmet. Um, as you can see, C Vlogs always repping. Um, the problem is when I put this on, um, it's so big, like not on my head, but like construction overall is big that uh, I look like I have an egg head and I don't like that. So I think I'm switching to a sandbox helmet, but we'll see. A piece of gear that's unique to me, my knee brace from Bragg. Um, goes on my knee, make sure I don't screw anything else up. Yeah. Opening the bag up, I got like my ski mask balaclava thing uh, that I always rock, keeps the head nice and toasty. Um, this thing that everybody obsesses over, me and all my friends wear them, these Burton hoods. So, uh, for all of you who don't know, kind of just goes over your helmet and everything and just chills like this on your head. Also, on my head, we have a Neff beanie. I have several of them. And then just some cheesy sunglasses that I like to wear if I don't feel like wearing goggles. Bam, bam. So, a Burton hood. I just lost 10 cents. My mittens, which I love. North Face mittens. They're comfy. I love them. They're warm. For my main goggles, they are Spies. Um, don't know which ones. All I know is they rock, uh, the happy lens. So this is the low light lens in them. And then I have the, for when it's brighter out, the dark lens. My secondary goggles that I got from Amazon as a Christmas present. Outdoor Master. I absolutely love these. Sick design. Great lens. I did scratch it already though. So it looks like I'm going to have to buy a new lens. Next, I have the boots, uh, Nike DKs. I love them. They're great boots. I'm a fan of traditional lace. If I do upgrade boots anytime soon, it will be to the uh, Scott Stevens 32. I believe he has two M's. Um, so, yeah, got the neon laces in them. The thing that allows everything to happen, my 2016 
Solomon Sanchez, 151. A little bit bigger than I like to ride, but can't complain. It does its job. These are my bindings. I have K2 Indie bindings. Um, show you the bottom, I guess. Go this way. Bam. So, this is the point of the video where I do something inspirational. Nothing too, too inspirational. Uh, one thing that I would... I strongly push for is following your passions and dreams. Like I talked about in a previous video, you can live your dream each and every day by pursuing it. Um, one of my big passions is actually snowboarding. Um, I suck at park. I've been trying to get better so much. First day out, we were doing well with uh, tail presses, nose presses. I wasn't able to ride park. Uh, as you can see in tomorrow's video, they had a hike park, but it was just so small, not worth it. So... Follow your passions, follow your dreams. It will lead you somewhere. It may not be necessarily where you thought you were going to be, but it will lead you to where you need to be. So just follow it. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe. No, that's not most of all. Subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Uh, giveaway news will be coming soon, as well as other news about possible merchandise that I'm working on. And from there, don't forget to be the change.